Hello everyone. We are here once again. All right, this is Shagun. Now I want to continue with our lessons. This is still for the teachers. Now teachers, this is a lesson that's going to take you through on how to view the submitted assignments. Okay. Now for instance, this is my class right now. And I want to view my submitted assignments. All right, all the assignments that the kids have turned in for the week or for the day. So obviously, I will just put my mouse on those classes right here. Then I will go to what's due. And I'll click on what's due. All right. Now, if I click on what's due, this is an assignment I created. Oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's the assignment I created. Now, this is one turned in, eight not turned in, one graded. That's, I, I have graded one, all right? Just for the purpose of this lesson, I have graded one. So this is the, this is the one I've graded, all right? The child scored 10 over 10, but there is one that has been turned in for now. Now nah, it's this child. This is the this is my uh experimental kid. <laughs> okay, so tech right now has submitted. He has turned it in, but I've not graded him and I've not even seen his work. So I click here. As I click here, I can see his work. That's these are the works he attached. This is so these teachers, this is where you're gonna see what your kids attached. Now, this right here is a score. It's over 10. You can make it over 100, any score you want, over 20. That's the total. This is this side here is total. This side here is the Let's say Ted Reed scored 10. It could be that he scored 8. It could be that he scored 7. It could be that he even scored 2 or 3. But let's assume that Ted Reed scored 10. All right. But instead of us... Oh uh, yeah, okay. Instead of us really going through this place, now look at this. Let me just click on the walk. You'll see it better. On the work that the child submitted, you'll be better. You will not see it. So you see many other features. There are some other features here that are missing. So now let me click on his work. This is his work, right? Uh, he actually submitted it via uh, Edmodo Word. Okay, you know, Edmodo has a partnership with Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. So he actually created this. If you check the video, Teachers can check the video on how kids can use Microsoft Word in Edmodo and they will see how the kid actually made this. All right, so let me click right here. So we're waiting for it to load. It's loading. Oh, good. Can you see? Right here. Now, it says, sorry, you can't edit this document with other people. All right, no problem. So in case you have this, just click on Open in Reading View. Don't worry about this. Just click on open in reading view all right so sometimes you can have that just click on open in reading, uh, view that kind of view now don't worry just just click on edit in browser that's if you want to edit the child's work remember teachers i created a video on how to uh, attach a file either on view only or on make copies and i told you teachers that view only is when you just want them to download it work on it take pictures of it attach it back as a file to you and send it to you okay but uh make copies will allow the child actually edit it online all right okay now this was if you watch the video just teachers watch the video on how to use Microsoft Word is for the kids. The links is provided below in this video. Just check the links. 
now uh, my view so this is what tech we submitted it did this job I only did this for demonstration purposes and how to insert a table you can check the video you'll see it now okay so this is TechRead's work right here now look at it right here this is TechRead he submitted it on time and it is ready to grade now this is his grade let's say I make him score 10 let's say I'm proud of his work he scored 10 over 10 good I can then comment on it. I can say, great job. Great job. Great job, Reed. That's that, right? Good. Now, this is it. I can then say, and I'm done. Before that, since I've opened his work, and I can actually edit as well. So as a teacher, for instance, let's say I want to edit something in his work, all right? I can then say, I can go right here. Uh, where is it? This is, okay, yeah, I've clicked right here. Then I can press my Enter key. Imagine that I just want to like add a comment to his work, you know, just like a correction. I can just okay, I can backspace it, you know. He listed this, okay, tech read listed this, so I can backspace it, or I can even just go to a blank, just the page, the last part. Give my font a color. Let's say I want uh, this color, and I can make it bold. All right, that's even before I type at all. Then I start. I can say um, these are my corrections. This. Okay, these are my observations. Okay, I can put it this way. These are my observations. I can just say um, you could do much you could do more research you could do more research on plant nutrients are commenting on his work or maybe you want to correct something the child did okay you can just you can just say slash water slash uh, then you Since the work was done on Edmodo or uh, Microsoft Word, it was not an it was not a, an attached file. It was done directly on Edmodo Microsoft Word, so you can actually edit it. Once you're done like this, so you can even tell the child that great job. But view my comments. So look right here. You can say great job. But view my observe. Attached file that I will send to you shortly. Something, just anything. Um, 
my corrections are in green my corrections Are written in green. Okay. Are written in green. Maybe and um, since I wrote another one in blue, just in green. Something like that. In green. So that means that the child right here, I can just if you want to highlight everything, just one, two, three. So I can just say my corrections are written in green. So right now, Edmodo doesn't have save, like save, so because it's saved automatically, saving your document. So I can download a copy. Do you know why I want to download a copy? I want to download a copy because I have already told TechRead that I'm going to send an attached file to use shortly. Okay, so I can just download a copy. So it says your document is already download is is ready. Sorry, then I click on download. Then voila, it's downloaded. All right. Now once it's downloaded that way, then you can view the download right here. Now once it's downloaded, I can then grid. Your grid, you graded TechRead. So that's all. TechRead has been graded. That's all. Okay, so show that it is you that is working. This is your name will be here. All right, so to show that you as the teacher is working. So anyway, teachers, please just check that video on Microsoft Word. Okay, the link is provided below to learn how to create or to work with uh, Microsoft Word very well. All right, and PowerPoint also. So ch just check the video, PowerPoint and Microsoft Word. Check the video. All right, then I can just, I'm done here, so I've, I've done that, so I can close this. I can actually close this. So right now, I'm done with this. All right, now let me go to class, and let me go to what do you right again. Now if I go back there, now see is now two graded can you see now two graded so i've graded seal ariel and i've graded tech read seal ariel and then so you can see i graded i graded him 10 over 10 like that all right so that's how to actually view a child's turned in assignment work on the edit the child's assignment if it's the one you've sent as make copies maybe a powerpoint make copies or microsoft word make copies but if it's pdf you cannot edit it you're just going to view it so for instance the kids might have taken a picture of it so once the kids have taken a picture of it and they've attached the file don't worry teachers there are videos for the kids on how to attach files i've already created a video for them on that so you can, of course, tell them to watch the video. I've provided the link. Now, um, the child has answered your question. He's taking the picture, he has scanned it, and he has attached it. At that point in time, of course, you cannot edit the child's work. All right, you can only just view the child's work, uh, comment on the child's work, grade the child. All right. Good. That's the basics you can do to that. All right. That's that. Maybe in your comment, while you're commenting on the child's work, you can then tell the child, okay, these are the corrections. All right. So now, remember, I promised the child I was going to download it and send the correction. So I'll then go to messages. <clears throat> I'll go to messages. So right now, okay, I'm still collaborating with TechRead right there. So right now, I just go to the message. 
all right just in case techree doesn't appear here i can come over here and then i will then type his name that's if i have not chatted with him if i've chatted with any child you've chatted with is going to line up here so i'm going to just type in t-e-c-h it's going to appear that's his name then i'll just come over here and then type uh do check Wow. Oh. Alright, so I can then come over here. Okay, I can even create an emoji to show the child that I'm very happy about what he has done. To create an emoji. Don't worry, it will just write this here right now, but it's gonna come out if you send. So I can click on attach right now and I can quickly go to download uh see it right here take read and then i can accept all right so i've attached it right now do check the corrections i've attached the file so i'm click on send see what happens so take read is going to receive it it's going to receive it remember as i've said it's only take read that's going to see these messages all right, it's only tech readers going to see it. So I can go right here also, and I can go to again back to what's due. There is this one was the quiz we created. I can go here. All right, and then I'll go to students. Tech reader was the only one that created this. So I click on tech read. It got five over five, but let's say it missed one. I'm sure that because if you create a quiz, let's say it missed it, it's going to give him an X. Right, maybe he's gonna give him an X. Let's say he means he's gonna give him an X, and I'm 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 quite certain he's gonna give him the correct answer also to show him that okay, this is what you got right. But if there's a particular question that Tech Read kind of uh, missed, or you is there's a particular question you want Tech Read to understand why he missed it, you can explain to Tech Read that. Uh, all right, you got this right. You got this. Let's say it was wrong. You got this wrong because just uh, just type something if you want to agree to get the comment. All right. Okay, so it says your comment has been added to take your comment has been added to take read squeeze result, but this does not is not required. All right. All right, that's that's how it is. Now notice that the the comment you created for tech read is only tech read that's going to see it. All right, it's only tech read that's going to the comment you created here. The score is only tech read that's going to see it. So teachers, if you want to uh, get the video on how kids will see their scores and how they are, they will see your comments, please check the link below. There's a video on that, on how your students are going to view their marked assignments. All right? So we're done right now. Thank you so much, teachers. See you next time. Bye.